What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, I'm gonna tell you the 10 types of shoes every man needs. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Jorge Arroyo, salute. Now I think it's safe to assume that most of us stylist guys strive to have a well-rounded, versatile wardrobe that has us prepared for almost any style situation we find ourselves in. And I think it's no different when it comes to our shoes, the foundation of our wardrobe. Of course we want to be prepared. But what are the shoes that men need? What are the essentials? The ones that really can't get away with having if we want to be well-rounded and stylish. Now in my opinion, for a guy to have a well-rounded shoe collection, there's about 10 types you need, whether we're talking dressy, casual, or sneakers. Now hold on, handsome. Don't fret if you don't have all 10. That's okay. This is an aspirational list that once you have all 10, you'll have a well-rounded, complete shoe arsenal. So without further ado, let's get into the 10 types of shoes I believe every man needs in his wardrobe. First up, we're talking about the one shoe, especially dress shoe, every guy needs. Of course, that black Oxford. This is your simple, elegant dress shoe that you wear everywhere. I'm talking about job interviews, weddings, funeral, God forbid. This is the no-brainer. Gotta have this in your arsenal. Wear it with your suits, your wool trousers. This is hands down the one dressy shoe we all can't avoid having in our arsenal. Staying with the dress shoes for our next pick, but we're getting a little more versatile and casual, as this time we're going with the brown wingtip. The great thing about the brown wingtip you can wear it with almost anything. Much more versatile than the black shoe. Wear it with your jeans. Wear it with your chinos and your trousers. It goes with anything, including the suits. The only thing I wouldn't wear the brown wingtip with is your most formal of attire. Now for our third essential shoe, we're staying versatile, but going even more casual with our first sneaker today, the minimalist sneaker. Now the great thing about this bad boy, because it's not loud or obnoxious and it's very minimal, it goes with almost anything. I'm talking shorts, jeans, and trousers. And although you can get a colored one, I'd go with white first, preferably a Stan Smith or perhaps a Common Project. Now for our fourth pick for essential shoe, we're getting a little dressier again with the perfect off-duty but dressy shoe. I'm talking about loafers. Now whether we're talking about a horse bit, penny, or tassel, this all-American classic perfectly straddles the line between dressy and casual. So therefore you can wear it with your suits, jeans, chinos, trousers, almost any kind of pants. So if you wanna be well prepared for a casual but still dressy occasion, grab a pair of loafers. Next up, we have the pick when you got to be suited and booted, literally, but you don't wanna put on your stuffy old dress shoe. That's right, we're talking about a pair of dress boots. The great thing about these, although they're rugged and a little more casual, they're still styled like a typical dress shoe so they can substitute for a dress shoe. And when you have inclement weather, the great thing about these, the dress boot pushes up your dress pants a bit, protecting them from the snow or rain. So a versatile, rugged, but still dressy look, that dress boot. We're staying with the boots for our next pick of essential shoes, but not quite as dressy, as this time we reach for a casual boot, such as a chukka, desert boot, or a suede Chelsea boot. The great thing about this one, it's still slightly dressy, but gives you a nice urban, rugged, laid back appeal. Very easy to match with jeans, chinos, or casual trousers. Like I said, this is one to grab when you wanna have a boot, not quite as dressy, but you want something rugged, laid back, and casual. Next up, we're getting a little more functional for our essential shoes, as this time we're reaching for a running, workout, or technical sneaker. You gotta have the shoe you throw on that's gonna give you flexibility, comfort, and support to help get you in shape and that technical running sneaker, a must have. So whether you're reaching for some ASICs, some New Balance, or something like that, you definitely wanna have a running or technical sneaker to help keep you in shape and have a well-rounded shoe arsenal. We're staying with the sneakers for our next pick for essential shoes. That's your classic or throwback sneaker. Come on, we all can use a little nostalgia. And the great thing about a lot of the throwback sneakers, they're pretty minimal, so they're very easy to style. You can mix them in with jeans, chinos and shorts quite easily. So go out, get you some superstars or maybe some Air Force Ones. 
Everybody wants to have a little nostalgia in a throwback classic sneaker. And last, but certainly not least, for our final shoe essential, we have probably my most favorite and sexy shoe. I'm talking about the monk strap shoe. Now, whether we're talking about a single or double monk strap shoe, this is your van style move. Great shoe to dress up or dress down. I like to wear it with a suit or some nice wool trousers. Sometimes throw it on with the chinos or the jeans. Very versatile, very sexy. And to me, an essential style of shoe every man should have. Okay, so there you have it. My guide to the 10 types of shoes every guy needs for a well-rounded wardrobe. Let me know in the comment section if you feel like I left the shoe out. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll meet you here tomorrow.